Hi guys, welcome to this video which is going to be looking at how catalysts affect the rate of reaction and in particular the activation energy of a reaction. Now you should remember from a previous video that catalysts speed up the rate of reaction without getting used up. What we're going to look at today is how that happens. So here I've got a graph which is showing me energy against time. And as you can see I've got the reactants on the left and the products on the right. Now this line that I'm drawing up here is called the activation energy, which nice and simply is the energy required to actually break the bonds to start the reaction. So if I use a catalyst, what it does is it lowers the activation energy. You can see here I've drawn a line that's lower down, which means I need less energy for that reaction to occur. This means that more of my collisions are successful. I'm not increasing the amount of collisions, I'm not increasing the speed of the collisions, I'm just lowering the energy required, making more reactions successful, which increases my rate of reaction. And that's really all there is to it. So I've got two questions. Let's just see how much of that you've picked up. The first one, which is a know it, which is the absolute basics of this, is explain how using a catalyst speeds up the rate of reaction. Talk in terms of activation energy. What does it do? And then the think it, you've got two graphs in front of you. Which one is more likely to have a catalyst added to it? Granted, neither of them or both of them could have had a catalyst, but out of the two, which one do you think is more likely to have had a catalyst added? And then why? So it's saying explain it, so say why you think that. Pause the video, have a go, and we'll see how you've done in a minute. Okay, let's have a look at the answer then. So if we start off with question one, explain how using a catalyst speeds up the rate of reaction. Nice and simply, it lowers the activation energy. So that's going to get you your first mark. And then for the second mark, you can say one of two things, which is either that less energy is needed to start the reaction or to break the bonds, or you can say more collisions are successful. If we move on to question two, so we've got the two graphs. So you're going to get the first mark for saying which one is most likely to have had a catalyst, which is B, because it's got the lower activation energy. And that will be your explanation for it. Okay, that brings this video to an end. I have got a review question for you, which says, look at the diagram below, annotate it to explain the effect of adding a catalyst on the rate of reaction. So it's worth three marks, so you need to explain what's happening between the reactants and the products and the activation energy. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, click on like down below. You can have a look at the latest video, you can visit the website, and you can also subscribe if you haven't done so already. Bye now.